What is going on guys, Judo Sloth here and welcome to today's Clash of Clans video focusing on Town Hall 9 today with one of the best attack strategies that there is right now. You will be wrecking bases in no time. If you find this one helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Clash of Clans. Now again guys, each of these attacks are from Elite Gaming and their CWL placement match against War Wales. If you are interested in joining us, the clan tag is on the right hand side of the screen there left hand side even my right anyway let's get into today's video the main thing for the town hall 9 lava loon there's a few key objectives the archer queen is your main thing but you don't have to take her down as part of your kill squad you can take her down on the fly this first replay will show you obviously the cc depends what's in it really um, any lava loon combination it's not going to matter for your lava loon attack as long as you don't set it off with your ground troops so for this one we decide to take a very small kill squad come in from the right hand side of the base take some defenses out uh, especially an air defense that way you can control the pathing of the lava loon as you can see this is more of your traditional lava loon base with your air defense in kind of every quadrant quadrant of the base can't even speak to today guys i hope the video does certainly get a little bit better than this but as you can see this is almost perfect as the lava hound comes in all of these defenses will target the lava hound then the balloons will come in behind them in order to snipe off them defenses nice and easy haste spells will be used to power Power the balloons forward once that air defense goes down we will then reinforce from this side towards the air defense here and it means that as you come around the base you can kind of take them out balloons stay around the core of the base here's the enemy queen though if she's right in the center of the base like this and you cannot take her down with a kill squad you need to take a poison spell uh, not a poison spell get it right judo you need to take a skeleton spell in order to take her down or at least it is advised as the balloons come forward a rage spell over the top is going to be helpful to power them skeleton spells and take down the queen Lava pups work well as well if she, if she is situated next to an air defense, but the skeleton spell will work for you guys. I mean, look at this. Five balloons left, heal spell left, two haste spells left, beast. Smash this base. That is the power of the Lava Loon attack strategy. Just swagging them spells at the end of the raid. So there you go. We're going to show you lots of different base designs. Lots of different ways to perform the Lava Loon attack. This is just one of them. Not very often you find bases actually that are kind of your traditional square bases with the air defense in, in every quadrant that you can pin a Lava Hound onto. But when you do find them, they're obviously a perfect base. Take out one of them take out a corner then you know exactly where the lava hounds will go they will move around the base they're not going to kind of spread out however check out this one quite a little bit different four air defense and the queen all to the south of the base so clearly let's bring a kill squad in take out that area and smash the rest with the lava loon so in comes the queen as you can see lava hound does indeed now come out because it's been triggered by our ground troops in the previous raid nothing came out of the clan castle because no ground troops triggered it obviously must have been a lava hound in there but it's just making sure that you can take it out in an area of the base where your queen is not going to get stuck on them lava pups and go down so as you can see not a problem Poison Poison spell always helps to get them pups down and, and again just check it out all of them air defense are down so now the lava hound is just going to pin onto the regular defenses still the exact same principle guys the way you deploy the lava hounds and the loons doesn't change just because it's not an air defense the basic principles are still there. Lava Hound's going to pin itself onto the defenses. Balloons come behind with the haste spells. Obviously, splash damage defenses. As you can see, we're going to get to this wizard tower last. So you need a plan for that. There's a few ways you can tackle it, guys. You either bring extra balloons and you bring them in from the corner here to distract the wizard tower. Or as you can see, we still have a haste spell. Not anymore. We've just used it. And uh, we've used the remaining balloons as well. So let's check out how we do this. That is how you would traditionally... 
take out a wizard tower on the back end then I think we're just going to swag this one and go for it as you can see loons split up a little bit wizards coming in queen still has the ability and there is literally only a wizard tower left so even if it takes down them two balloons it doesn't matter guys we've got the queen plenty of cleanup troops wizards get through it but I wanted to show you that base how it was just so different and if you can take advantage of bases like that by all means do it guys um, again this is not a one fits all strategy but the key principles of the lava loon will remain the same here's another base then where the air defense are right to the north however the Archer Queen is right to the south, so a little bit different there. Now, think about what the Lava Hounds do. They pin themselves onto an air defense. Traditionally, your Lava Loon kind of meta would have been to take out one or two air defense. That's kind of how it was. Now, that was purely when base designs had air defense around the corners of the bases and it was more to do with balloon pathing than the damage that they did because the lava hounds will be on them air defense so for this one the queen is the more important thing then you can bring the lava hounds into them air defense coming in from the opposite side is always a good thing guys it really depends on the sweepers depends on a few things however the haste spells will take down them defenses before you know it. Yes, the lava hounds are quicker. They're going to get across the base. You're going to lose a balloon or two, but honestly, check out them haste spells before you know it. They've caught up to the lava hounds over the other end of the base. It means the lava hounds can set off them traps before the balloons. And just look at the spells, guys. Just watch that strategy in awe. Absolutely smashed that base. Skip did get a six pack on this one as well guys so we are going to bring you that check out all of them balloons and a lava hound that didn't pop balloons coming around the outside of the base as well so again you can use balloons to distract wizard towers on the back end of the base but also they are fantastic cleanup troops they do a massive amount of damage so just use them one at a time onto the buildings on the outside especially if they're high hp storages or something like that they will go down quick guys here we are then six pack from skip brilliant stuff quite a different attack for this one so let's see how he takes down this base check it out queen and cc right in the middle of the base a little bit more difficult in order to get in for that queen air defense right on the outside we can easily take that down without bringing much of a kill squad so that is the plan take that down take out the queen on the fly again guys skeleton spell you don't have to take her down it's not like a, um you must do this step in order for the strategy to work all depends on the base so on this one taking down some of them air defense then the queen will go down on the fly so defenses around this area are down it does mean that again you can see look at this kind of horseshoe or c shape of defenses that the balloons will go Coming in from the north, we can see they're going to move down this portion of the base. We can maximize spell usage in that area. And that is the basic premise of the Lava Loon. Queen comes over. Make sure you don't miss the compartment. You don't want her jumping into another compartment, guys. Same as the Hog Rider videos we've had out recently. Once she comes down to this area where we're going to use that Rage spell, the Skeleton spell can get some kind of benefit from that Rage spell. So we waited, even though we might have lost a balloon or two, um skeleton spell struggles because the king is there as well but the lava pups are there to clutch it take them down and then again guys just check out how many balloons we have left over this is how powerful lava loon is and when it's done correctly guys when it is done correctly there will be a video linked in the top beginner breakdowns of expert attacks for the lava loon try to explain it in as basic layman terms as i can we have two more attacks for you before we wrap up this video but again guys most of our attacks in this war at Town Hall 9, we smashed with the Lava Loon. So it's a brilliant strategy you can use on a lot of different bases. Check out this one then. CC right in the middle of the base. You don't always need a kill squad to get in and get that CC. Couple of sacrificial balloons with the haste spell there was enough to lure it. Then just pull them CCs out. Kind of 
very, very old school stuff, to be honest, when we used to lure the CC with that single hog rider. I do miss them days when you could lure the heroes as well. Leave a comment down below if you remember them days, luring the CC, luring, activating each hero, taking them out to the side. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Clearly used to not be good for a defender, but anyway, just reminiscing a little bit there, getting into the attack, no air defense down, again guys, want to stress that, old Lava Loon meta, you'd kind of, you know, come in, take an air defense or two, you don't have to, Queen and CC are the main things to focus on, Lava Hounds will be pinned onto them air defense, they will tank the other defenses, as long as you can get them balloons in quick enough, then you will be good guys, and that's where the haste spell really helps out, because prior to the haste spell, we used to have to use rage spells, which are worth kind of double if you will, and they only benefited the balloons because of the speed, yes they would add the damage, but it didn't really make that much difference, so the haste spells, because you have more of them, you can really get them balloons behind the the Lava Hounds quickly, again look at how many is left, Wizard Tower right at the end, heal spell for this one guys, so again, basically, if there's a Wizard Tower at the end of the raid, you want to watch where your balloons will pass, if they're going to get to a Wizard Tower or splash damage, you can kind of surgically bring the balloons in at first, but they are eventually going to kind of clump up, and you almost want them to, in order to take out the defences in the middle, but it does leave Wizard Towers on the back end that again, another balloon or something like that can distract it, heal spell can kind of protect your balloons as you just saw, through that wizard tower or a haste spell is equally as good to just power them onto it, take it down and no worries. Last attack then of this video, make sure to let me know if you've made it right the way through and if you want to see more Town Hall 9 strategy, again, Queen at the south of the base, she is your primary, primary focus. If you can take her out easily, do it guys. If you need to and it's, you know, going to be counterproductive, not counterproductive, but it's the negatives outweigh the positives basically in order to take in a kill squad, take her out, kill her on the fly, take a, you know, skeleton spell. Unfortunately, didn't get her down on this one. Not going to worry too much though because as she stands over that archer tower, not going to make too much of a difference. She is going to go down eventually. A balloon will get her right next to the defense and it will be good night to Miss Archer Queen. There she goes. Rage spell takes them down. Again, just look at the spell deployment. Kind of covers the entire base as itself. There is a heal spell as they clump together and really this base is already done. Look at the lava pups cleaning up alongside the minions and archers in terms of cleanup troops. Didn't really get a good example of that on this one guys. We do use archers to lure the lava hound. So the first attack there where we came in didn't bother luring the lava hound. If it comes out, if your queen tends to lure it mid raid or you think that's going to happen, take some archers. You can then pop the archers in. They will draw the lava hound out to the side of the base so that your lava pups clean up the base aren't going to get stuck on them. This is quite a nice replay as well because there's a Tesla in the court corner of the base, clearly you would have just popped a balloon on that if it wasn't a fresh hit, but it, it's kind of nice because it shows just how powerful the Lava Loon is. So that will wrap it up for this one guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, peace out guys.